Hello guys and welcome back to my let's play of Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes. As promised, this episode I'm going to attack Blackstat. That's hopefully going to be an interesting combat. I think it's going to be, looking at the amount of opponents. Also, uh, well, they don't have that, that, mu that many city militia, but um, I think it's uh, these guys alone are going to be quite challenging. So let's end the turn. No! No! Ah! You, you, ah, oh, oh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> I was talking about that in the previous Let's Play as well, the AI can be really, really annoying, oh, damn, 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 double, double, triple, damn, all right, I'm gonna take his city for that. There we are. I think... Oh, we do have the uh, Gift of Iron, which would be useful. Do we get the Gift of Iron? Actually, I want to know if I can... Ah, I can cast this at any point in the map. I was wondering if that's around the caster, but it's not. Uh, units within range are not prone unless they resist. Interesting. But anyways, I think I'll be using something else. Maybe Fireball? Maybe not. I think I'll just start with Pandemonium, just to... Um, just hoping for some good, uh, good effects. Dazed, weakened, slowed. Well, it's not great, but it'll have to do. This unit is gonna get a turn... Next, he deals quite a bit of damage, and this unit as well. The Spear Maiden is not that strong at all. Uh, what am I going to do? I think I'll move over here and use the Impale in this direction. Nice. The Knights of Asok get an opportunity to uh, to show their worth. Oh, they have Impale as well. Nice. Defender. They barely deal any damage against Defenders. We might actually have to use the Wraith Torch against them. Uh, let me just... I'm actually going to close the window because some kind of a maintenance guy is working outside. So just a sec. Alright. If I weren't so lazy I would cut that out of the video recording, but... Uh, yeah, well, I am lazy, so deal with it. Um, yeah. I just I just want to reduce swarming bonuses in the initial uh, phase of the combat. All right, now we have the opportunity to use Rave Touch, and I will make use of that opportunity. I think. Look at that, 52 defense, and it has no bearing on my uh, well on my uh, units at all. I mean, they can just. Rave Touch is really a very powerful ability. Alright, I can get over here. 42 defense, 52 defense, there's really no point. Well, of course there's a point. Rave Touch, what was I talking about just now? Uh, 42 is less, they have a higher chance to resist, theoretically, so I'll actually reduce these guys. Ooh, Swarm Bones is pretty high there. But we're doing uh, very well. The Mage. Ooh, Mages. But let's 
keep uh, let's um, heal the Knights of Asak because you know they are uh, very very strong units. All right, another Wraith touch, I think. Oh, there's defenses dropped considerably. That is interesting. Why would the defense drop? Perhaps because they're no longer defending? Could that be it? I don't know. It does seem like a explanation. But, um... Oh well, let's just get rid of those guys. Ow! Those knights really get a lot of uh, pounding. Naja born. Let's go. Oh, damn, they dodged. Only I am allowed to dodge. Let's uh, Wraith touch them. And now we can finish them off with a swarm attack. Well. Opportunities do we get here? I suppose we want to get rid of the city militia because he gets his turn first. My sovereign is pretty weak all by himself, but I will actually be casting Gift of Iron right now. I think at least. Yeah, yeah, I think I will. Will I? Well, hmm. I don't think... I, I have a different idea. Um, I will use this spell to um, hopefully reduce the amount of ranged attacks that are going to be released on me. Especially the magical ranged attack, which is going to be nasty, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's um, crush them, apparently. I thought I would just knock them prone, but whatever. Alright, so we get an opportunity to swarm attack these guys. I think that would be the most useful thing to do. Meh, it's not too bad. Ow! Alright, next priority, these guys. Damn. I kind of wish that I've, I would have gotten the wellspring. Uh, ability right now. Um, who's next? Oh, they are next. All right. Not really too worried about them. I am, however, really worried about these guys. They have a lot of hit points too. Do I have anything that can uh, deal with them? I wonder, are they... Could it possibly be that they are... Um, uh, at this point... When do we get another... Uh, it's gonna take quite some time before they get another turn, so that's good. Um, yeah, I think I will. This unit needs a bit of health. I... Well, I could actually heal myself, but I also want to damage units, so... I am going to use Brave Touch with my governor. Uh, with my sovereign, I mean. Right, now we can move out with our knights and hopefully get rid of a lot of the mages. What? What is wrong with you? Well, they were probably just. Um, you know, uh, exhausted from the long journey. No, they were uh, unlucky. Made a bad dice roll. Alright. Nice. Um, Alright, so... They will not get another turn, so I'll move them to safety. Or him, rather, at this point. Hopefully this will uh, 
at least get rid of another mage, with it, which it does. Bash? I don't like Bash. <laughs> uh, that's my Sovereign, which is good because my unit is in need of a bit of healing. We're still Bashed though. So are they. They are strong, they are really strong. Um, mages, they are definitely very uh, dangerous to us, so let's try to get rid of as many of them as we possibly can. Yeah, alright, perfect. And I'm gonna use... I don't know what happened, but something went wrong, I know that. Alright, he needs to heal himself at this point. For exactly that reason. Alright, arches. Let's deal with them. Knights of Asak. I wonder if they can attack two groups at the same time, if they're s for some reason uh, on the same tile. Alright, that doesn't really matter. Um, I could heal. I probably should heal. Yeah, I will heal. Uh, he will get another turn, so I don't really need to heal him. I will heal this one. Alright, they dodged the attack of these uh, annoying units that are left. Um, We'll deal a lot of damage against these guys, so let's move why That was disappointing. Oh well. Let's try this again. Last time I clicked... I might have accidentally clicked the pause button, but I don't think so. Alright, perhaps I did. That was actually pretty stupid, because otherwise I could have done a swarm attack. Oh well. Um, let's move over there. Just a crushing blow against these guys. Mm, not too bad. Alright. They can reach that particular enemy, so I will go over there. They have high defense, so I will use Rave Touch to break through that. Too bad for you guys. And I will heal the Knights of Asok. Next time I'll probably have to heal myself again. This time I attack the other archers, interesting. Almost there with that unit. Alright, like I said, I'm gonna heal myself. Full health, very nice. Swarm attack. Another swarm attack. Almost there. Ah, so close. Swarm attack again. Excellent. And let's get rid of the last city militia. And let's get rid of the soldier. Only 73 experience for that. Really? Do you know how many times I had to heal? But alright, we won. Interesting battle, but... Um, yeah, I was actually hoping for a level up for my uh, sovereign. Let's get a bell tower. Unrest is really going to be a problem for that city. Alright, so done, done, and done, and done. Next turn. Timber mill increases production per material and other stuff, but it's 
Not really about all that. It's more about the war colleges and the siege weapons. Kulan's army. It's right there. Orcs. I don't care about orcs. Urbas shrine has been completed. Uh, enemies in my territory. Yeah, that's just those guys. And Yaksa has nothing to do. What shall we do in here? Let's build a timber mill. Why not? Let's increase the production. I mean, at some point I might actually want to start producing units in there, but... I mean, my army is so far away, that's really no point in, in doing that. However, um... I could hold back, defend the city and everything, but I will actually move out and uh, kill Kulan himself. That should be possible, I think. And I'll also get the chance to heal up my units a little bit. Let's move out. Can I reach them? I can reach them. Very cool. Hmm, we will not be able to finish off the brothers' sparrows, but not even close, it would seem. Wow. Hmm. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna move out and uh, see what he um, can do against me, and I'll, res I'll simply respond to that. So he does have some... Uh, I should probably slow him down, shouldn't I? Alright, let's move over here. And use the Wraith Touch. I don't care about that. I do want them to not be able to use their swarm attack against me. So I'll move over here. Alright, it's a little better. If I attack normally, I deal a little bit of damage and he has a counter attack in that case. So I'm not going to do that. It's very cowardly, but um, if it works, why not? And goodbye, good night. Alright. Um, that unit could still use a little healing. Alright, we reduced the attack of that unit. I don't think I really need to do anything else. Another attack with my Knights of Asak. And another regular attack. Which is sufficient to get rid of the Brothers Sparrows. Alright, nice little combat, a little bit of experience. And let's move out, I think. Alright, enemies in my territory, that's just them and them, and him, of course. Treasury Vault, excellent. Nothing too interesting going on, let's just continue. Oh, we could have grabbed his uh, outpost, I wasn't thinking there for a moment. Anyway, doesn't matter. He still has to have a settlement somewhere. And I wonder where. Wow. <laughs> Why does he need to go around? I don't like that. Perhaps his other city is in this direction. That would actually make sense. 
That also means that I probably have to go back uh, to get there. Eh, I might just uh, attack these guys mm. first. Uh, they should be no problem at all for my army. Nothing to do, and the turn. Nothing to do, except of course move this army and attack the Bone Ogres army. Oh, they're Bone Ogres. Mm. Cool, they're a lot more dangerous than regular ogres. But it still shouldn't be any problem. Alright, we go first. Um, bone ogre, I should probably slow him down. I'm going to use Pandemonium again. It's a good spell to start with. This one has already been slowed now, so that's good. Um, the Knights of Astok will get a turn. Let's move these guys in here and attack this guy. Very good. Now I think I should attack Ogre. Can I kill him? We expect to deal 15 times 2 is 30 damage, so I will not be able to kill him. Not immediately, anyways. Um, we can move over here, yeah. No, we cannot? Oh, we cannot. Damn. Alright, well, we can get rid of either one of these, so let's do that instead. Only 7 damage. Uh, let's use the swarm attacks. Are they a little wounded? No, they're not. But I do need to get rid of this unit as soon as possible, and his defense is really high, so I'm gonna use the Rave Touch here. Nice. He's bashed. I didn't think he would be able to get bashed, but uh, it's very good. Damn. I cannot get past my uh, front line units. I'll now slow down this one. Alright, very nice. And that's the ogre. Let's use the Knights of Asok to get rid of the bone ogre. Although, will they be able to? They'll barely scratch him for some reason. Alright, at least they uh, had a lucky dice roll. Let's use the uh, Rave Touch again. Alright, so now there's really no problem anymore. Regular attack, I think. Almost there. Almost there. And with there. A lot of experience for that. I actually think that you should get a lot more experience for for uh, attacking the cities of uh, other factions. But uh, yeah. Oh right, there's an ogre lair, so there's really no interest. Uh, I really have no interest for that. No use for it. Right, nothing else that we can do. What? Oh! Uh, interesting. <laughs> Max reads. Oh, Alright, so you get two of those units. That's interesting. Um, Alright, so you move over there or something. Oh, I haven't them selected. You move over there or something. Alright, it'll take them a while, but... Uh, It'll take our main army a few turns as well to get uh, over there, so that's all fine. Actually, thanks to the road, it doesn't take nearly as long as I would have thought. Is it Pioneer? Let's get rid of the Pioneer. Go to Resolve. Uh. 
free experience. Actually, how much more experience do we need before we reach the next level? Not that much, but it's still not worth it to um, to use Destiny's Insight or anything like that. Now, what can we get in here? Nothing much, so I will design a new unit. And actually, I might just wait eight seasons. I will wait eight seasons, then I can get the um, first aid kit for them as well. Uh, in the meantime, I'll get a merchant, a harbor, a granary. That's nine turns, so that will be fine. Enemies in the territory, nothing we didn't already know about. So uh, let's just end the turn. More champions are available. Ooh, interesting. He is uh, vulnerable to cold and he is weak. But he does have cold stones. Raza the Wild. I like him. Let's recruit him. Chuck. Very nice. Very cool. Um, I'm not gonna use him though. Simply gonna. Hmm, interesting. Young crows in my army. Hmm, interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do with this unit, but um, I'm going to try and attack those guys, but uh, they might disappear before I get a chance to actually attack them. And it would seem that the remainder of Umber's territory is down here. Right, Earth Elemental's army, I might just get rid of that before I attack Umber again. Enemies in my territory, that's just those two. And we'll we will get rid of the pioneers. Out of resolve. One experience. <laughs> and we want to move in that particular direction. Well actually, I don't know. Raz of the Wild. There's no really I don't really have any use for him over here. <laughs> All right, I'll send him the same in the same direction. Why the hell not? So one of our cities is doing nothing. Um, we have a little bit of unrest. Nothing too bad. Palace would undo that. Tax office, no. We can only use the palace to undo that, so why not? Oh, I missed the. Uh, Build button. We have a nice little uh, kingdom. We are a w long way ahead of um, all other factions too. What is Gildan's opinion towards Paradin? Warm. Alright. So we might try to uh, form an alliance with Paradin as well. Uh, oops. Pardon, let's talk to them. Treaties. Uh, an alliance treaty. I wonder, I, I suppose that um, Umber would have to agree as well. I think. Yeah, I, I, well, maybe not. I, I know, I'm not really sure. Perhaps not, but... Um, at least we have two allies now, and uh, <laughs> the other two remaining factions are pretty weak, so... Um, yeah. This Let's Play is uh, going very well. And we are under attack. Interesting. I was actually planning on attacking them, so this is really not a bad thing. Because uh, my Sovereign actually has a spell that is specially designed against elementals. Target elemental takes 82 damage. Ah, damn. Resist chance 0, damage 1? I'll cast it just to, um, to see what happens. 82 damage, alright. So the 
The interface was wrong. Like that's never happened. These guys have a lot of defense, I dare say, so uh, I should probably use, um, what's it called, uh, Gift of Iron soon, simply to um, really negate the attack that they, uh, the damage that they can deal. Nice little swarm bonus in there, so I'm gonna attack that one. Of course, we might also use the uh, Rave Touch again. Actually, it's going pretty well. Their defense is not even that high, so... Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is basically point and click. I don't think I will actually need the uh, Gift of Iron. So I'll just uh, use my ranged attack, even though it's barely going to do anything. And we have Impale. Very nice. Dodged. Very good. And we will move over there and attack that one with a little bit of a swarm bonus from these guys. And an attack against this guy with a little bit of a swarm bonus from, from those guys. And the other way around. Alright. We dodged their attack again. And now we have a lot, a lot, a lot of turns before they even get a chance to do something against us. And we only needed one, so... And we got a level up, which is great. Now what I really missed was Wellspring. Uh, so I'm gonna get that one. What do we find in there? Increased dodge. That might actually be pretty useful for my... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna equip that. He's been running around with a bare chest since the beginning of the game anyway, so uh, yeah. Good. Let's uh, grab a bit of their territory. And what are we going to do next? I, I think we'll just um, move into his territory as so far as I can. Right, another city, so nothing really I have to worry about. Ah, that's going to be easy. Alright. Um, let's move them a bit closer. Uh, Alliance Treaty with Paradise has expired and everything. It's not a problem. Those guys are not, not a threat to me, or to my cities. So, let's end the turn again. And I will handle this turn in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you then.